video, before we get started, I need to share with you brand new merch shop, brand new merch shop, fire merch. We got the brand new, actually old track hat restock. We got new snapback over here. Your very first Barra GG350T, super rad. We got a restock on the BCTs. We got our very first LZ official team merch. Look at that, it's blue. We love blue. Evo shirts, back in stock. Block tees, back in stock. Coffee tees, back in stock. And then we've got the S15 hoodie. Look at that, look at that print. Shalma, what'd you think about that? It's I love beautiful. it. It's beautiful, it's perfect. I took the words right out of his mouth. I we couldn't got, even speak. We got the Barra T, but in a hoodie. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the video. Applying is direct. <laughs> links, links in description below. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. We're back in Orlando, and I am being joined by a very special guest who played probably the biggest role in the creation of the Barra GG350. So I know you haven't seen this thing in a long time. What do you think? It's been a while. I like it. It looks really good. I just can't believe how like perfect everything fit. I feel like for such a crazy swap, it looks like it was meant for this car. So I don't feel bad for burning it down. <laughs> wow, <laughs> right off the gate. I no, see you. it looks good. I'm, just, I'm excited to see what it feels like with the transmission working. Cause I don't think when I was in it last, it was still being weird just getting into like first and second on the road and you couldn't step on it. Yeah, I think I gave it like 10% throttle, so we're gonna go 100% today. I'm Talk to me about the pink. I love it. This is the quirky pink that I have on my RX-8 three-piece wheels. So. I love it. And I want a bike like that. A lot of people didn't uh, necessarily know how it was gonna look and thought it was a little bit much at first, but I think because it is such an OEM looking bay, it really just sets it apart. And if it were black, it would honestly just look like a stock Ford EcoBoost or inline six motor or something, so. Yeah. Wait, are you still gonna maybe do the clear? A clear hood? Maybe. That's not a thing. Yes, it is. I don't know how to do that. Oh, we're what? gonna figure it out. You have to, this is so crazy and it really pops when you can see that it's a Vera and it's pink, so you have to at least have like a smoky clear hood for shows or something. I ordered a OE hood I found on eBay that was already painted the same color as the car, so I'm gonna make that one fit first and then we can talk about clear. I like a no hood. No hood. Because yeah. I really wanna bring this car to PRI if it ends up happening, so I would probably just bring it to PRI with no hood. You'll notice the front bumper. This is actually a brand new one that our friend Billy painted, um, so it's perfect now, but it's just missing the grill stuff because mine was all melted, so I gotta wait for that to come in. But it fits great now, I don't have to hold it on with duct tape. It's got all the OEM clips, and uh, paint match is pretty good, except for the fact that my fender's burned, I guess, so that kind of throws it off. But I want you to hear this. Do you remember what it sounded like when it had a V8? I mean, sure, yeah, kind of. Go stand behind it. It's more like PTSD now. You ready? She might be a little cold. Is this a rotary now? Ha ha ha. drive. I got a GoPro set up on the bumper for exhaust sounds and then I have a GoPro set up in the hood for turbo sound. So we'll see if it makes it sound cooler. I don't know. We're just going to go have some fun. Now before we go take this thing for a drive, I want to take a quick second to share with you guys some information from one of this channel's sponsors, Off The Record. If you don't remember me talking about Off The Record in the past, it's an app for iOS or Android, also available on the web, and it helps you fight tickets and misdemeanors by matching you with an experienced local lawyer that handles your case from start to finish. Over the past holiday weekend, there are so many tickets that get handed out. I'm sure as you know, cops have been everywhere. And I got two statistics for you. Only 5% of people in the states contest their tickets. Personally, every ticket that I've ever contested has got thrown out and off the record has a 97% success rate. So if they're not able to get the ticket off your driving record, you'll get a full refund. They have over 50,000 tickets that they've contested successfully. Keep your driving record clean, save yourself some money, keep your insurance premiums low, and check out how easy it is to use off the record. If you register now and use my code AdamLZ10, it'll also save you 10% off your first ticket. I've got the link below. Make sure you check it out, whether it's for a ticket you already have or a ticket you might get in the future. Drive safe, don't waste money on a ticket that you can fight. Now let's go take this thing for a drive. All right, we're back. Waiting on two fittings to get the AC working, so for now the car's pretty much the same as it was before. 
I actually did play with the trans control a little bit and somewhere along the line the software got messed up and it was only uh, set up for like 750 max wheels so I changed it to the higher horsepower one so we'll see if it holds a little bit better. I think the last time I drove it it felt like it was a little gnarlier but we'll see. You don't have to do anything weird now? Just nope. go in reverse?
it's so hard, I think, because like it gets to red line so fast that by the time you shift, that's why it like goes on limiter a little bit. So people don't understand. I mentioned this before, when it sounds like it downshifts and stuff. When this thing's in manual, it will not automatically shift for you. It'll just hit limiter and it won't automatically downshift for you. It's an auto, yeah, it'll do that, but I haven't driven the car in auto at all yet because I set the shift points where I want them to be. And auto scares me because I can't let the car just bounce off limiter and like gain traction because it might shift still be in boost, then generate like an extra 30 mile an hour wheel speed and then do weird Mustang stuff. Mm. How crazy is it too that this is like the slow setting of this car? That's crazy. Are you trying to get bigger tires for it? So the problem with that is that I can't really fit. So what I need is a bigger sidewall, but I can't fit a bigger sidewall because the GT350 rear brakes are so big that I can only do 19s. So I have to like change the knuckles and change a bunch of other stuff to suit like standard Mustang GT brakes. Yeah. And then I can put like a 17 with like a fat sidewall on it. But not, you don't want bigger tires, you just want well, both. bigger sidewall? The sidewall is what makes the biggest difference though for like straight line traction stuff. Definitely still need some TLC to get it to where I want it, but cool for now. I, w I wanted to get you a ride in it. Yeah, that was awesome. It was like night and day since the last time I was in it, so. True. It He's was cool. It was scary. And I think it was more scary for me because I looked at your face and you yourself, the driver, looked like you were scared. But that is going to be crazy. Wait, percentage-wise of pushing it, where would you say you're at? Like power? Yeah, like was that 80% of what you think Prob it's going to do dialed up, 90 well, it still has a lot more traction to gain, but that's about, what, 900 wheel about, and it should make about 1,200, no sweat, so it's got a lot left in it. And I'm, like, pretty confident about that. Yeah. So she's been bugging me. She uh, She's over rotaries, um, so she's been trying to buy this thing off me. I told her 69 grand, and it's hers, uh, so she's going to take her a test drive. We'll see if we can work something out. Yeah. This feels wrong. This. The, wait, this? Or, like, this? Like Everything. this? Oh everything but mostly this oh. <laughs> all right so we're gonna give this thing a rip you guys haven't even seen this thing go for a full rip because it had those crappy tires in the front of it it's pretty fun now like i actually have had a lot of fun driving it even though it doesn't have a plate yet i've just been ripping around the block at night um and uh yeah it's what i think what are you talking about it has a plate that's why i'm driving no but we're fine i got the bill of sale just keep it keep it local so still gotta get the ac charged up in this um then i don't know this thing's just yeah, this could be your daily. You're probably the only person that has sat in the seat so far that actually fits in it. How yeah, crazy is it in an FD? Like, my knees are slammed against that wheel. This is great. I you, love it. You want to hear the braps? Start it. I'm going to die a little bit inside, but where are the keys? <laughs> This one just kind of sounds like a truck. Like, even though this is like a good LS, 
Couldn't you do something just with the exhaust? Not to make it sound like a race car LS, no. It needs to be more special. Give it the beans! Give it the beans! Appreciate you guys watching today was just a chill video I uh, thought we'd go have some fun tomorrow I think we're gonna finally dig into the brown chaser and see what happened with that engine Hopefully figure out if it was a power thing if it was oil starvation and get some information so we can get moving forward with that Get that car back together and get it ready for drift week, which is right around the corner. Thanks guys when you said